guys hi welcome to my channel my name is checha and this is checha's corner and today i'm with my sister oh, yeah. this is my sister say hi hi so today we are doing a sister's tag um yeah i have my baby sister here her name is chidalu and yeah so here goes the video i put up a post on instagram and whatsapp about questions that people would want to ask my sister and i and i got some questions this is it and we're about to get into the video so sit down relax and enjoy okay so the first question is who is the best cook i'm asking you, who is the best cook me now you get it <laughs> Okay, sincerely, who is the best cook? Me. You. Well, you can cook more dishes than me. Okay, you feel like you cook better dishes, but I cook more dishes than you. I don't know. But that's it. What do you love about me? What do you love about your sister? What do you love about me, I beg? Okay, what do you hate about me? What do I love about you? I don't know. I just love you because you're my sister. So there's nothing special about me that you like about me. You just like me because I'm your sister. You're my sister now. So, so even if you're bad, I have to love you. No, that's not the question. The question is, what is one thing that you admire about me and you that think... That's not the question. What, is it? what do you love about me? Yes, you like me. I'm your I sister. I just have to love everything about you. You can't love everything about me. We're always fighting. Even before we wrote this Does camera, we're fighting. I don't love everything about you. <laughs> well, you're kind, you're good, I can be annoying, but I still love it. I don't have a choice. So you don't have one special thing, one single thing that you think, oh, I like this about Cheche. Mm -hmm. This spam. Mm -hmm. None. I like that you're kind. Everybody's kind, Jerry. Everybody's not kind. <laughs> Am I kind? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind, don't worry. <laughs> okay. And you can be loving. I know I'm loving too, but. Your own love is by force. <laughs> by force, by fire. And yeah, you're very prayerful. That's good. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, interesting. Okay, what do I love about my sister? Uh, I think I like that Chital is very fashionable. She's the very prim and proper. Let me tell you, behind the scene, this girl is not prim and proper or anything. But you know, she likes to be prim and proper because she feels like. <laughs> You know, uh, so she's like, oh, don't, 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 don't let people know that I talk like this. Don't let. I like that she's very put together. She likes to put herself it's together. Okay. I'm getting, <laughs> you see, <laughs> I want to put it. <laughs> so she's telling me. <laughs> so yeah, my sister is a very prim and proper girl. She wants to look good for the glam, a big gram. She wants to be beautiful. She knows how to take care of herself. I love that about her. She can invest in herself. I see. I see this girl. She doesn't want to give you her money, but she go give herself her money. No, she's a... we'll talk about that one later. I think. I think. Yeah, the... still owe me. Uh -uh. One thousand five hundred naira. Only. Only. Two hundred. Only. Only. And I don't have to give. You see. Money. You see this girl? What am what are you owing me? I'm not owing you shit. Continue your video. Mm. See, this one has to be inside this video because me, I'm even tired. So what was it like growing up with a big sister and how is your relationship now? I used to hate my sister when I was small. After that plenty of times, I did not like her because she always liked to play perfect. She always liked to be on the good side. And she's always causing them to Punish us, yes, because I want her to flog us. <laughs> I had not like her before. I used to run away from her. In fact, when I got my phone, she made them to seize my phone <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> no reason. I had to block her for viewing my status. <laughs> well, now, thanks be to God, she has changed. 
has gone better which is why i'm just sitting down here <laughs> if not i will not sit down here with her <laughs> now like i will feel excited to there are things going on about me and all i don't think i i have anything i'm hiding from her i don't just have a choice now i think she just became better and i became more open to her but then i used to hate her so that's it ah this one has literally turned me to her best friend now uh funny you know? <laughs> i don't know how I'm my sister's best friend like my younger sister's best friend it's not even healthy i should be her big sister it's not healthy to be her best friend well growing up i don't think i I just thought this one is wala. This one, she's just a bag of trouble. That's how I felt about her growing up, and and I did not hate her. I've never hated her. Cannot hate her. Will not hate her. <laughs> it felt that way. It I felt. That I felt way. like I hated you. It felt like I hated you. Wow. Yeah. But I did not hate you, and you know I did not hate you. But I felt that way. Yes, I know that she didn't like me because I will make them do the right thing, even when, even when she did the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. How do I make you do the right thing when I'm doing the wrong thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> but now, oh my God, we have like one of the best relationships, and yes, we still fight too, but like we, I think we have more love these days than fight and when we fight we don't really fight that it's just normal sibling squabbles and here and there I feel like we are in a very good place now we are, we are we're in a perfect place if I'm to say it doesn't mean we don't have challenges and the rest but we are good in fact even when I don't wear hair she's like yeah it's so good I feel like yeah we'll get smart easily who gets mad easy? Teacher. <laughs> Me! <laughs> and she can be very annoying. Yeah, I can she be now be screaming down the house. For little or no reason. <laughs> well, I don't know if I get mad easily, but I can get mad. When I'm angry, I'm angry. But I don't know if I get mad easily. Or should I look easy? get mad easy. <laughs> you you will just start crying. This one is a blackmailer. She will just cry <laughs> and cry her way to success. <laughs> yeah, so she gets mad, but because she's like the third born and nobody cares to listen, she will just cry <laughs> and she will have her way. But do I get mad easily? I don't know. But when I get mad, everybody go shall know that I get mad. What can I spend hours doing? Sleeping. Yeah. Doing Instagram. Viewing Instagram, yeah. Asking me, what of YouTube? Mm, not as much as Instagram, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Recently. Yeah, recently too. What can you spend hours doing? Instagram. Instagram, sleeping, talking to her, whatever. Yeah, talking on the phone sometimes. Mm? Those nights are in a half of <laughs> those nights that we used to sleep here and go to bed. <laughs> what are you doing? Praying. <laughs> 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 okay, what are you are you insecure about anything? Are you insecure about anything? Yes, my sister is insecure about her skin and her face, especially. She does not want anything to happen to her. No, that's insecure. Insecure is like what you don't want people to see. Oh, okay, yeah, it's true. Are you insecure about anything? Is there anything you don't want people to see? I don't think. Okay. Actually, this thing I'm very perfect. Sorry to say. Yeah. Sorry, yes, but I'm girl. not sorry to say that. <laughs> you are very perfect. Well, what about you? Uh, I think I used to be insecure about being plus size. I used to feel like, ooh, uh, ooh, I'm not worthy, I'm fat, and whatever, whatever. But now at this, I don't see myself as fat because I don't know if it's because I've seen plenty of people that are fatter or because we grew in the same space. I honestly don't see them as fat. I just see them as, this is my sister. Yeah. And they're quite okay. Does not mean I don't used to give them some side to show. Oh yeah. Yeah. But you know we are fat. Or we are at least bigger than the average person. Bigger than me. Yes. 
I don't know if I'm an average person, but yeah, bigger than me, but not fat. Yeah, I, I, I used to be insecure about being fat. I'll lie if I say that. I used to be insecure about, oh, you know how they will tell you that you won't get married. Mm -hmm. you can, can you remember what happened three days ago? Somebody said, don't be fat as your sister. Oh. Remember mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Do you remember it? Yeah. So, you know, when people say things like that and, you know, it makes me feel like, mm. It'd be uncomfortable. It's not like I used to go out and have this mental note that I'm fat or as I'm working. But you know when people make side comments that are hurting, it used to kick me off in the wrong way. Yeah, so I used to be a bit insecure. But now, I'm, I, it's not like I'm not longer insecure about it. It's just that I make conscious effort not to let it push me down. Do you understand? Or make me feel like any less of what, who I am or who I should be. So that's something I struggle with and something I'm trying to, you know. Yeah, I remember I used to I have Anya for that <laughs> like I have a squint eye it's called an alternate squint eye and I don't think I'm insecure about it except when people say to me oh, she doesn't even know when it switches yes I don't know when it switches it's an alternate squint some people will have one squint eye but I have an alternate squint eye or a crossed eye and um, I'm never insecure about it I don't even remember I don't even have a mental mood I have it I only remember because I have it it's not always there yeah and yes. and and i only remember i have it when people would refer to me as are you looking at me or you're looking at somebody now and i'm going to tell you a story i'm going to say a story here so i don't know if i've ever told you this but one time in gariki in abuja i went to you remember that place i took you to buy food in gariki where we're coming from um bonozo yes so in that restaurant they buy um food like you have to queue up to buy food and yeah so i went with one of my friends you go so um we 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 were standing in line to buy food and one of the guys if you remember how they used to serve at that place one of the guys now said to me are you looking at me the server like the waiter are you looking at me or you and he looks at the wall or you're looking at the wall like you know he said that in a very and that place is usually crowded it's almost like in touchy vibe it has a hey if you, if you stay in Enugu, it's almost like in touchy like a lot of people are usually there and he just said i didn't come in i didn't come in i didn't come in i, come in. I, come in. I don't know why he was joking but he's a, he's a wait he's a waiter and he's meant to serve me so that was very disrespectful and i said to him yes i'm looking at you i have a squint eye in case you haven't noticed and um you know, my friend was so angry. I was like, why, are you, why do you even have to explain? Don't you? Tr he was so angry. Then one woman, a, a, an Alsa woman, I even think she's Muslim from her dressing. She's not saying, are you stupid? Are you foolish? You are, you know, and the woman was now shouting at the guy. But me, like, these are kind of scenarios I would get because I have a squint eye. You know, when people make jest of you because of think like squint, squint, like partially squint. Yeah, it, my doctor said it's an alternate squint. Okay. The place I got my ass in the center because it's comes to the size sometimes. But it's, I think it's mostly in this eye. Yeah, but I'm saying like it's not always there. Yes, yeah, not like, when, you, when you're watching this video now, you won't notice unless she tells you. Yeah, it's not always there, but when it comes, it comes. And you know, when people tell you things like that, it, I don't even have control over this thing. Some people say, "Oh, try and see if you can correct it, and try and see if you can, you know, close your eyes and open." I don't even know if I close my eyes and open it if it changes or. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. So that's it. So imagine that is something to be insecure about. What is one thing you would like to change about yourself? About myself? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> this one I like myself too much. <laughs> you don't want to increase your height. Perfect. I don't want to grow tall. I don't want to be a tall girl. <laughs> like, I know I'm not short. I want to be like this so that part of your face. You don't want to remove your acne. I don't have plenty of acne. I just think like growing up, I never had acne. If you can remember, mm -hmm. it just kept coming, which I think is something that comes with puberty. And at some phase of my life, it will go. Yeah, it will go. Definitely. One thing I'd like to change about myself. Oh. To be fair, I would have said you know slim down. Mm -hmm. uh, I still want to slim down, but it's not like. I want to change. I don't want to ever be skinny. 
and you know we mm, i don't want to like i know i've always been chubby so i want to still have it because i feel like if i'm so slim i won't it won't be me again i feel like this weight comes with my personality some kind so i don't think there's necessarily anything i would like to change about myself maybe i just want to drop few pounds here and there but it's not like change about myself do you understand exactly so what brings you the most joy God. In heaven. No, outside God. Let's talk reality. Outside God. Mm. Reality. Hearing from the ones I love. Mm -hmm. Who and who do you love? <laughs> my family. <laughs> <laughs> my friends. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm most happy when I'm with my siblings. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Yes, no. Because okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sure like sometimes in school you don't even feel like talking to your friends, your roommates, you just want to stay on your own. Well, in this house, you cannot stay on your own. Somebody will surely come to find you, e.g. <laughs> but like, you just have no other choice than to be happy. Because, I don't know, it's just there. Yeah. Because she will literally force you to be happy, even if you are not. Um, well, if there's one thing that brings me joy, most joy, apart from like she said, God, like knowing that God loves us and the rest, I think it's family. I've learned to love family so much, like especially my siblings. I don't know, it's weird, but in a way, like I just feel like some days I'm like, so you mean that all of us one day we will not stay together? And I, like, do you understand? And just chill and just be us because I feel like having sisters are blessing, like like i imagine i'm older than two sisters like it's like having your best friends for life i i am i can always snuggle her cuddle talk chat you know it's it's beautiful and now my sister is going to return be going back to school soon i'm i'm already thinking hmm, how boring the house will be if she leaves you understand and there's an offer that oh we could extend her 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 departure for two days and but we already booked her flight and in my head i'm like oh if we had known <laughs> you know i thought of that <laughs> i said oh if i know would have booked her flight for the fifth rather than the third you know just so that i get some time spend more time with her i have I've, I've learned to love family more as i grow and yeah weird weird but yeah and my mother i love my mother when she's happy <laughs> when, but when, she's, happy. when she's happy now <laughs> Mama, yeah, like a grandma. I feel very excited staying with my grandmother. Mm. Like it just comes with this comfort. Yeah, because I know that when she always sees me, she's always happy. Okay, yeah, she's always happy to hug me, cuddle me, kiss you, kiss me, so sing songs with you, and yeah, the rest. No, oh, okay, so that's it. Um, tell us about your childhood memories. Childhood memories. Mm. So let me tell you about the one I found out yesterday. That one that mommy told me. Okay. That when I was younger, she said one day she couldn't come to the school. I don't know. Okay, let me start the story from the beginning. We went to eat out with one of her friends, and the man was like, Oh my god, this your child looks so smart and intelligent. I don't know how he, he, he said it. He said, mm. like, I came to the world as a clever girl, something like that. Mm. So her mommy was not like that, even from birth, like I've been clever from the stomach. Mm. So she now told the story of when we were in primary school, I think maybe then I should be in primary two or so. She sent one of her friends to come and pick us from school because she couldn't come to school. And my two siblings, I saw two and children enter the car and I refused to enter. Mm. I said, all else I hear from my mother. Unless I hear from my mother, I'm not going to enter the car. And she's like, will you enter this car? And your mother said that she called me. I said, if she said my mother said she should come get me. She should call my mom. I want to hear from her. So, and then she now said that I told the woman that that's what she told us to do. So the woman had to literally call her. And I spoke to her before I could enter the car. Mm. What other child would remember? Okay. I don't remember most things, but I know I remember some things. Mm. 
I remember even this thing I was telling you the other day that mommy used to tell us that we should, that we should say when I see you I will just and make some little <laughs> gesture with our hands. <laughs> and shall we? Mm, shall we? <laughs> yes, we shall. <laughs> so my mom has this thing of when we're ready for school because she used to be a banker. She works in the bank and we had to leave really early so that she can meet up at work. And whenever she's ready and she just to make sure that we're ready, she goes like, shall we? And we're like, we shall. And we grab our bags and off we go. So something we learned growing up. Um, yeah. So they say something about uh, when, when I, see, I see you, I rejoice. I think I was already in secondary school when they had that symbol because I can't for the love of God remember. When I see you, I rejoice. Like when, when I, I tell you when I see you, yes, now say, I, I rejoice. rejoice. And you guys make the hand thing. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm probably in secondary school because yeah i'm like six years older than her so that's it um one thing i remember about childhood like literally don't remember nothing outside me and some to check in from your neck <laughs> back to the house <laughs> on that scotch hot abyss scorching hot sun i be hot scorching sun <laughs> and i remember we used to share a, a, a subject of pure water because we didn't have much you can't afford much like us as a kid and I'll be, I'll make her like open her mouth so that I drop the water directly on her throat and she does the same so that it gives us some form of relief. The weather that time used to be hot. I don't know what kind of rubbish sun that is. And we had to trek down from university primary school to the house. And my grandma would wait for us literally at the door and she would make us Gary like gary and sugar she make us drink gary so she would be like ah oh, my children your head is so hot jesus you gary and sugar yes yeah, so i'm telling you before mommy will come back now she will make us drink then she will not say well, I'm going to go. so drink this one so that your brains will recharge then you you know and yeah what else do i remember growing up um uh i used to fight with Somto a lot Ooh! i used to fight with Somto too ah uh, yeah Somto is the middle child so imagine like <laughs> She, I used to find something like But she always beat me up. <laughs> She's stronger than the both of us put together. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes my other sister, my immediate younger sister, I used to buy with her a lot. I remember one time my grandma would throw, and I used to make sure that I want to beat her because something is strong. I want to use all my power, my might to just show that I'm older than her and I want to beat her. So, I remember one time my grandma drew, used the chalk and drew a circle in the middle of the sitting room. I said, Oh, yeah, when I enter here and kill yourself. <laughs> Um, and it's so funny growing up now sometimes like the coolest person on earth i don't even fight with her we are just chill we're very good friends and you know we are good we used to have issues but it's not as, i say when we are small it's not every day we cannot pass a deal you mean physical combat john cena <laughs> ah we must give each other my Tyson and Leah and Lee Mohammed at the beginning. Ah, we must fight them. What else do I remember growing up? Growing up, growing up, growing up, growing up. Okay, so there's this time my auntie used to tell me. Now I can't remember it. It's just something that has happened, like when I was younger. Apparently, they said that whenever I get to church, my auntie said, Well, if she takes me to church, I just come in and I start sleeping. I'll lay down and sleep. And so my auntie is a reverend sister. And you know, she wakes me up later when we're done with uh, uh, mass and she's like, let's go on the church. Ah, you mean you come you came to church today and you just came to sleep? And I'll be like, Oh, oh sister, but I've greeted Jesus now. <laughs> <laughs> so you know when you greet Jesus, you go and sleep, I beg. So yeah. So has your personality changed since childhood? Has it? Mm -hmm. Not really. I think he has. Yeah, but not really. He used to say like I used to be more angry when I was a child. <laughs> All the pictures had this girl's so angry face. So. <laughs> <laughs> Every time she's like, you won't be person. <laughs> and now I guess I'm going to be happy. Mm. Okay. Find comfort in the things that make me comfortable. So okay. Good. Interesting. Has my personality changed since childhood? What do you think? Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I have changed a lot since childhood. Yeah, a lot. I, I think as a child, I used to be a people pleaser. I wanted everybody to be happy with me. I know every day, Jay, I was talking about. What changed? As a child, you used to like to be perfect. Yeah, that's the people pleaser now. I wanted to be perfect for everyone. I wanted mommy to be happy with you me. You are not pleasing us, so I'm not. No, going I can't. To deep, I don't want to. I don't want to please you. Don't say you wanted to please mommy. Yeah, I wanted to please mommy because I'm sure this thing I'm going to tell you now is also something I'm going to tell you. 
that time we didn't really have a relationship with her yeah but i wanted mommy to be happy because mommy put a lot of pressure on me to be fair on me remember she used to tell me that, ah, you are the mirror, everybody will see you and be like, your sister is like this, do you understand? So, it, it puts a lot of pressure on me. Yeah. I'm serious, mommy puts a lot of pressure on me. She used to wake me up in the middle of the night to tell me things I don't care about. Mm -hmm. You know, she didn't let me be a child. It's almost like I wasn't a child. I was now, I had to care for them, do you understand? I didn't want to do other, anything that would jeopardize me being a good first child. A good mirror that my siblings have to sit through. You know, you know how that you mount pressure on your first child and she's no longer a child. She now has to be a mother. And because I I, I didn't even want to do it. Not like I would not want to, but mommy did not even let me have the chance to be me. Do you understand? So I had to I I, I it's more like I grew up in a strict environment you know and yeah but again even in terms of friendship don't you think i've changed a lot with my friends yeah. uh, and i used to be a people i used to the one um, thing i believe i don't think it changed i'm just going to say what i always say mm -hmm. i always feel like seven friends cannot be friends for seven years mm -hmm. you're definitely going to drop some people mm -hmm. which is something mommy used to tell us that there is no other friend than your sister mm -hmm. because if i'm going to keep being friends with you you it's just like being friends with my sister i don't have any other choice even if we fight from now to tomorrow that's what my mother used to tell us that we have already been friends from god mm -hmm. she used to say is a divine setting yeah, yeah you, divine you, 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 you never chose your sibling yeah, so but you have the right to choose your friends yeah. so you always have the right to drop any friend mm -hmm. and personally for me I think like where I am has power to form my friends. I don't mm. know what I'm saying. I am friends with my roommates. Well, that's why sometimes I'll tell my roommates, oh, you're my friend. And they're like, oh, I'm not your friend. I'm just your roommate. I'm like, see this one. Who is even thinking of you as my friend? Like, I'm saying, you're my friend because we're in this room now. We just have to be friends. Because I feel like anybody that you talk to, oh, hi, hey and you can talk to like have a good conversation with is your friend does not mean if we leave that room or if we change rooms we cannot stop being friends friends can always stop being friends that's it it's your choice to um, make it work okay interesting so mm -hmm. for me i feel like personality wise i used to know that when i was young i used to like friendship i wanted to be everybody's mm -hmm. friend but right now i don't send anybody i don't even make friends Right now, I'm also anybody, Papa. <laughs> you know you're more friendly than me. Yes. Because if I enter a room, if you don't tell me how, I'm not going to tell you But how. But at the same time, I'm a very picky person. You know that. Yeah, but like, I don't know how to put it. You're, yeah. You are more of somebody that will enter a room and you're like, oh, hi. Yeah. How are you guys? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to take a hit. Yeah, and wait for you to come tell me hi. I'm sorry, but yeah, okay. So, what scares you the most? Kidnapping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm scared of who is not scared of kidnap. I'm yeah. scared, all of us, but that's not the... in life. I think I'm scared of not being successful and not being happy. Yeah, I think I'm scared of not having money. <laughs> Do you know when I say successful having money I say, and successful is having money? Yeah. When I'm happy, I have money. <laughs> when I'm happy, I have my loved ones, I have my husband, I have my children, I have my family, I have my sisters. Yeah. That is what I put as happy. Yeah. Another thing that's successful. Yeah, another thing that scares me the most, yeah, like my sister has said, apart from you know, having money, like having money to do what you have to do, not like you don't you don't necessarily need to have so much money that you don't know what to do with it. That is what scares me. Yeah, I think another thing is family. What scares me is like growing up and maybe not having the same relationship I used to I have with my siblings now. Do you understand? Not being cool with each other, like seriously you know yeah not having to say mm, you know having all these family quarrels is something that i hope we don't have to recreate you know just like not treating her child like she's my child you know that's something that i don't want to ever happen what do you prefer looks or brain the two looks <laughs> 
surprisingly, I think me and my sister we have similar specs. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, looks and brain, please. You know, we can't choose one. So if you have brain and my children is not looking like ape, what are we going to do? And I look at you and you're looking like ape, gorilla. I will be angry. I will be angry, please. And if you have looks, what are we going to eat? Yeah. Yeah. And you do not have brain. Yeah. Are we going to be looking good? Empty vessel makes the loudest noise. Yeah, please. We don't want to blow our own trumpets, but we already have the looks and we have the brain. So we're not settling for less. So you better come with looks and brain. Yeah. Okay. So looks and brain, yeah. Uh, do you consider yourself an introvert, extrovert, or perhaps ambient? Ambivert, yes. I'm sure. Ambivert, because like, I'm not an extrovert. If you meet me, just like you see me in this video now, you meet me first, I'm not just going to be, oh, godly, social, oh yeah, hi, hi. I'm not really like that. There's something she used to tell me. We just talked about this like yesterday night. She's like, <laughs> when people meet you for the first time, they're not like, oh, which kind of quiet girl is this? <laughs> Why is she so reserved and quiet? <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say I'm quiet, but some people can literally swear that I'm quiet. I have to be comfortable around you to be to show my other side. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just. Going to, I usually tell people I'm an ambivalent. Okay. I don't even know what I am. I can be the three of them. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, no, like ambivert is like the mix of the two. Yeah, the mix of the two. But at the same time I think I'm also extrovert. I think you're an extrovert. You think I'm an extrovert, Chidalu? I don't think I am an extrovert. I'm not noisy outside, remember. I don't actually think extrovert is yeah. noise. Or even go social. out and... I'm not too social. Though. Well, I just am but Yeah, I'm not too social. I'm but not. When you think about this thing, can somebody even be like an extrovert? Like an extrovert? Yeah, maybe some people are ah, pokoli. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> you just say or the gram, you don't know what. Yeah, but every time he's videoing people sleeping and making. You know, I think the guy is a playful person, life of the party kind of person. I'm not the life of the party. Mm, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm definitely not the life of the party. Uh, do you speak any other language out, other than English? Uh, I speak Igbo. Can you say something in Igbo for us? Kedu. Is it just Kedu? Kedu is just basic. Kekime. Very basic. Say I, I speak Chidalu. other lang another language outside um, English in Igbo. Anamasu asusu also carry English. Okay. And for me, no, I do not speak another language. I just speak English. I'm an English girl. Always English. <laughs> Always English girl. Okay, so I think I speak a little bit. I speak Igbo, obviously. But do you know how to speak any other thing? You know, even if it's in little quantities. Do you know how to? Mm, I speak Hausa now. Oh, so. yeah, now. Show us. Hausa again. Oh, what else? Uh huh. I forgot what else I learned to burn that was. Uh, what is makaranta? I don't know. School. Oh, makaranta. Okay, that's school. Mm. What is yakiki? Yakiki. Mm -hmm. I know yakiki. I forgot. Girl, something. Like no, yakiki is like how are you? I think so. Mm. Lafia. Lafia is how how are you? What is unasunki? I don't know this. I love you. I used to know all this okay. outside. And I speak your vast small. Oh, yeah, now. All right. Good morning. Oniran. Oniran, you are mad. That's mm. ah, Why are you learning this all? Onirasa. What is good morning? Odabo. Good morning is bye. I know Odabo is bye. What is good morning? I don't know. Ekaro. Good oh, afternoon. Ekaso. Good evening. Ekali. Uh, Wambi. Come here. Ejekalo. Let's go. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, come and eat. What? Um, what? Uh, hi, I've not this one. It's a little Jekyll string. What is that? I don't even know. I just remember like the no. tiny bits I used to, uh, I used to say. Ha, ah, how do they say it again? Je, unje, wanje, bi unje. Joko, I am a binu farabale oremi my friend. Oremi, oremi is my friend. If I mean my love, mm. 
Mm -hmm. So I know just little, 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 little Yoruba here and there. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can narrowly escape. It's not like I can escape. Um, I also learned how to speak Swahili. Kidogo, small, kidogo, yeah. Sasa Jambo, Abariako, Muzuri, you know. Sasa, hi, Jambo, hello. Abariako, how are you? Muzuri, I'm good. Kidogo, ah, uh, um, very good. Um, akuna pesa no money. Akuna matata no wahala. Kachini sit down. So you know, just very little Swahili here and there. So I can just. But my sister sometimes learning how to speak uh, Spanish or something. The girl is stupid. <laughs> but I'm I'm very grateful that she wants to learn how to speak. Stupid. I think it's. I'm just joking. Yeah, it's cool. It's like nice. what I mean is that it's funny. Sometimes just has weird weird inclination. She just starts something and yeah. Like, I speak French. Eh. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Mademoiselle, bonjour. <laughs> okay. So, who steals the most clothes, wigs, and makeup? This next week. <laughs> this one is a professional arm drop. <laughs> next question. <sighs> okay. What do you miss about? What do you miss the most about your childhood? I know. Maybe don't have to think about anything major. Hmm. Like not having relationship issues ah. in Lai's voice. In this small in this in Lai was his voice. <laughs> so I'm 23 years old. <laughs> I have one sister, but we have relationship issues. Really? Okay. Um, so. Just being that time it was just what was the main problem that time? How to struggle and Smoke get an A contraband. Yeah, get an A. Now I still have to keep my grades good. I yeah. I don't think now. I put more effort in my studies than before. Yeah. I actually think if I used to put more effort in my studies, like, you'd be a better. Be yeah. Yeah. Like better than I am now. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. True. Like True. since I entered university, like I set a standard for myself, which like I intend to keep. But like in secondary school, I will not call myself like. I will not say I was very serious. I think I was serious. Like I was not a lazy student, but I know I didn't put in my very. Because you don't know what it. Is. You really didn't understand why you are even reading like that. So, do you understand? Mm, maybe. Right now, you have a maybe. better. Because now, and let me even tell you the honest truth. When you leave university, you would even feel. No, when you leave the university, I know what I'm saying. You will feel more nudge to be better for mm. yourself. Do you understand? Do you get? Just like you have left secondary school. Maybe then you were thinking you were putting your efforts. Do you understand? Mm. But now you feel like you could do more. Do you understand? When you leave the university, you will also feel like, you know what, I can do more. You understand? Exactly. It just, it just happens with life. Do you understand? I think back then, I would just relax and be like, there is no how you are going to set a question and I don't know the answer mm. to it. Mm -hmm. But now, I literally have to stay up all night, all day reading. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. What, what memory of childhood? Um, oh, sorry. What, what do I miss so much about childhood? Just the carefree life, you know, mm -hmm. just being me. I don't know. have to worry, my money is going to ah, finish. I don't think I, I, about you don't, you don't subscribe your data. No, you don't even have a phone. So no, I just want to watch TV like, and be happy. Uh, and wonder about what I'll eat next. I don't think about man. Nobody used to ask me when you're getting married. Right yeah. now, I feel like everyone was asking me when are you getting married. I don't understand. Marry your husband now. Have you finished marrying? <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? I feel like the pressure of oh, when are you getting married? And when you get married, they're like, when are you having a baby? When are you like, well, when are you having a baby? I don't know. Leave us alone. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. You can't give it to anybody. You say, and when are you having a girl? Supposed to have a girl. You can't give it to only girls. That's when it's worse. My dear, I think childhood, this adulthood, mascam. Adulthood, mascam, <laughs> you better get that for your I mind. I you still like, I'm slowly <laughs> getting there. I'm like, telling you. <laughs> and, uh, I'm getting there like every day. <laughs> nobody go ask you if you don't drop. Like literally, nobody used to ask you, ah, take this one easy. Nobody go give you that money. Have you got money? It's okay. Adulthood, <laughs> <laughs> so who is most annoying? Shisha. I don't think so. I feel like Shida is more annoying. Shida can be very annoying, like literally. My sister is very annoying, but at the same time, I don't get a choice. I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. I have to love her. And yeah, yeah you're very annoying. Yeah, like you can be very annoying. Yeah, like let me tell you something that happened 
in the course of this video mm -hmm. when she wanted to start it she's like oh she never asked me do you want to appear on my channel she's just like we are going to do a sister stack she just came inside me yesterday i was even on a phone call so i said oh we are going to do a sister stack tomorrow so yeah blah, blah, blah. i'm like eh that's i'm very expensive that before i appear on your channel you're going to pay she's now like are you speed are you speed that are you speed that it yeah what happened why can't we put you right now she's like are you speed that it i'm like for me to appear on your channel you are here shouting at me she's answering that i'm very ungrateful <laughs> me and i'm like who is ungrateful who is supposed to like beg me pet me and be like did it is i want you to come on my channel i want us to do sister stack like she can be very annoyed and she's literally like i'm not going to help you to do anything again and i'm sitting down here oh. yeah because of her, i had to dress up and sit down in the panel yes. to film for how many hours i'm supposed to be somewhere now but i, I think i'm here with her i think that these are the things we do for our siblings i don't need to beg you to do something yeah, that's the annoying part why would i have to you don't literally have to you, you have to beg me if they're saying please or petting me uh -uh, so I don't pet you. I said no yesterday, Chidal, before you entered the room, and told me to come and meet you in the room. I had you in my lap. I dragged you to come and stay in my lap. Is it not she true? Not pet me anything. Hey, Chidal, so, so that's she's not that like, oh, what are you going to wear? Why are you not ready? Why are you not this? That is annoying. Chidal, you said you carry you on my lap yesterday. I'm just telling you what annoying is. But did I carry? Did I carry you? I even carry it. Was annoying me. Why are you annoying? It's a lie. She likes to come and lean on me. I don't like plenty cuddles. Where you want? Yeah, you know I don't like it when I want it, but you like it when you you want it. I'm not supposed to be forcing somebody to call you. Since this like girl it. that just came up to me, I think a week ago, I said, "Cheche, please let's go." To, eh, I didn't say, "Cheche, please let's let's go to the market." Do you want to go to the? Do you want to buy? Do you want to buy anything? <laughs> do you want to buy anything? She said that one is going to send me to So it's me, your sacrificial lamb. Well, anyhow, I have got She's you to do the video, and I'm an, again. I'm the first sister. I'm the oldest, so everybody will fall in place. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're from this video. You know who's my mind. This girl is a chameleon. No, no, my Let's do this. Uh, okay anyhow who, i am annoying i take the trophy thank you very yeah very. but you know i also love you and i go out of my way to help you no to see me that doesn't love you that's the thing that like annoys me she's literally like oh you're so annoying that like what can you even do for me do you know anything i've done for you and she seems to forget everything i've done for her yeah but i do more yes because you are, i'm not your age <laughs> Can somebody tell her that? Like, I'm not your age. <laughs> okay. If if I could do more than you, that would be a very shameful thing. What well, does it think so? Anyhow, Sha, it's not about money. Let's leave money aside. That, that's not money. But that's I also come money. out. If I care for you, oh, I'm, I, I do more in some aspects. Hey, which aspect? You know, she will literally leave the house. It's not even up to 12 o'clock. I'm calling her. Ah, Cheche, where yeah, are you? Yeah, yeah. Did you get there? Too. And she will forget all that. Oh, my baby. Let's see, she will not say, I love you, you know now. And I'm so kind to you. I'm literally treating you like you're my baby, like you're two years. I treat you like you're two years. And everybody will be fighting you, I'll be fighting for you. That's my thing. Do you know that this is what mommy told me? She <laughs> don't fight for me as long as I fight for you. What is mommy Yeah, it's one day that I don't know who was my coffee rice and something. Yeah. She doesn't say that it's true that you like see. So I say, mommy, please don't say it's her. How do you know that it's her? Yeah. She doesn't say everything you will be fighting for Cheche. In everything you will be saying it's not her, it's not her. How do you know it's not her? <laughs> what if she goes down now and it's her? That it's too like fighting for you. Yeah. That I'm not making other people feel like they are not right. Which I know I also fight for some too. Yeah. But I think mommy also tell me that. You know, so people will be doing this rubbish and some people will be feeling like yeah, but she, like, mommy feels like I'm the one instigating it. Yeah. My mother feels like Chidal is the one that will tell me like how did you even say? She was like Chidal has changed your mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but not See me that's going to change a grown woman's mind. <laughs> Someone that is six years older than me. Ah, uh, that's not true. That's not true. The thing is that you know we are cool. My siblings and I we are just cool. We love ourselves, and we 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 are better now that we are adults, right? Mm -hmm. we, are, we are we understand ourselves better. It doesn't mean we don't fight. We do, but yeah, it's get bet it gets better. Each day is better than yet. Like today is better than yesterday. And yesterday, is, next tomorrow is, yeah. is going to be better than today. Yeah, and we have a good relationship. Sometimes it's more like. Uh, 
our guy, <laughs> like our both we both have a relationship with some though, even mm -hmm. as we have a relationship with ourselves. So yeah. That's it. Thank you, Chidalu. I'm so sorry for not begging you to come and appear on my channel. Our oh, Prince fans, Ebu Base Akugo. All of you will literally call you her Akugo. So, my love. And seriously, her name is Akugo. It means like, it's like an eagle's, eagle's egg. egg. Yeah. That's what my mother calls her. And yeah. She's our Akugo, our princess, so our Queen Diana, Princess <laughs> Sister, Queen Elizabeth. Anything we want color, she's the one. Nollywood actor. Mm, anything. Thank you, Mama. Yeah, I'm calling you Nollywood actor. Ah, me? Yes. Why? This thing you're saying now. Ah. Just wait till she pulls down the camera. No, 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 no. No, I'm not going to do that. My sister, I'm very grateful for have um I'm grateful that you appeared on my channel. You know I love you. Of course you are. Yeah. I'm very grateful. I'm grateful to have a sister like you. Um hopefully in after uh in maybe five years we'll be a better sister stack. Five years. Yeah. I said I'm not appearing on your channel. Yeah you fool. You are <laughs> <laughs> you, have to beg me. you will beg me. <laughs> me after Subscribe. Let me make money. Let her not beg me. Come <laughs> fool. <laughs> she won't beg me. Don't mind that. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking around. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing. Please drop a comment. Love, love from here. Bye, Chechandalu. On your notification button. Yes, please do. On it. Share this video. Like it. And subscribe to my channel. Below. Yes, drop a comment. I will love you. Thank you. And bye.